Hi, welcome to the Passaic County Energy Aggregation Educational Video, brought to you by Concord Energy Services and Commercial Utility Consultants. What is energy deregulation? Energy deregulation is the separation of distribution and supply. New Jersey has been deregulated since 1999, and since then, approximately 18% of the residential customer base has switched to a third-party supplier that they have chosen. As illustrated in the picture below, before 1999, JCP&L would generate electricity and bill the, for the supply and distribution portion of your bill. After 1999, JCP&L is only responsible for the distribution of your electricity. JCP&L must buy electricity from third-party electric suppliers. They will bill you for the distribution and supply portion of your bill, but will remit the supply portion to the suppliers who generated the electricity. In order to make up your current JCP&L default rate, the Board of Public Utilities, also known as the BPU, runs a statewide auction. The auction results make up the basic generation service portion of your bill, which is also known as the supply portion of your bill. On your current bill, you can see these charges by finding the line item named BGS, or Basic Generation Services. The last BPU auction for JCP&L was in February 2015. Here's a look at some of the suppliers who make up the current default rate. BP Energy Company, Exelon Generation Company, and TransCanada Power Marketing, to name a few. What is Government Energy Aggregation? The Government Energy Aggregation Act of 2003 was passed allowing counties and municipalities to aggregate their load and compete against the default rate provided by JCP&L. In 2012, NJAC Title 14 was passed, allowing municipalities to aggregate the residential customers to compete for a cheaper price to compare versus the current default rate provided by JCP&L. All bid documents and agreements are sent to the BPU and Rate Council for review prior to the energy auction. The Department of Community Affairs has oversight in the auction process. Here's a look at the results from the Passaic County Pricing Cooperative. The auction was held on 12-30-2015. The winning supplier was Constellation Energy. The winning auction price was 0 0.09129 versus the JCP&L default rate of 0 0.1057 per kilowatt hour. The winning rate is fixed for the term starting April 2016 and going through November 2016. Here's what you can expect next. You will receive a letter from your municipality explaining the program. The letter will also include information regarding Constellation Energy, the winning rate, and opt-out options. The program only includes those who are not currently with a third-party electric supplier. This form letter developed by the BPU provides all program information and many ways to opt out, including a mail return, an 800 number, and an informative website. After the initial opt out period, JCPNL will send a switch over letter. This letter will confirm your exact start date with Constellation Energy. Constellation will begin serving electric supply with your meter read date in April 2016. Here's a sample JCP&L bill, 
please note the yellow arrow. The only line item that will change on your bill will be where it's marked Basic Generation Service. This line item will be changed and replaced with Constellation Energy. You will still pay JCPNL, and JCPNL will remit the payments to Constellation Energy rather than the suppliers that make up the basic generation service portion of your bill. Here are some frequently asked questions. Who do I call if my electric goes out? You will still call JCPNL as they still remain responsible and always will be responsible for the distribution lines entering your home. Will I be penalized if I do not become part of this program? No, you may opt out at any time for any reason with no penalty. Will there be a different or two separate bills? No, you will still receive one bill from JCPNL. Does this hurt JCPNL? No, JCPNL will always be your distribution company. They will still bill you for distribution and supply, and they will submit the supply portion to Constellation Energy rather than the default suppliers that make up the BGS energy rate. Who can I call with billing questions? You may call JCPNL or Constellation Energy. If I opt out, can I opt back in? Yes. You may opt out or opt in at any time for any reason. Is budget billing offered? No. Due to the shorter initial term, the budget bill plan cannot be implemented at this time. If any resident currently on a budget plan wishes to join, you may do so but must forgo the monthly budget. What if I already have a third-party supplier? If you are currently on a third-party supplier electric rate, you must wait until the end of your current contract, and then you may opt into the program. Why do I have to opt out versus opting in? The opt-out option is an aspect of the program written by the Board of Public Utilities. The law requires us to follow the statutory guidelines in order to establish and participate in this type of program. Thank you for watching.